Okay, look. Oh, fat people. Ah, I need to get my shit redone! Ah! And as you can see, I don't got my beard dreads anymore. I fucked them up, they're gone. I got a Leonidas now. Sparta! We're moving on. There is literally no reason for me to be doing this video, but I wanna, so I'm going. Fat people! You're totally cool. You've given us some of the best comedians, man. And fat jokes are some of the funniest jokes ever. One of my favorite jokes of all time is a fat joke. Man, your mama's so fat, she jumped in the air and got stuck. Come on! Come on! Man, just think about it. She jumped in the air and got stuck. This bitch is too fat for physics. She just defies all logic and gravity. In my head, I can see her mustering up everything she got to jump. <laughs> Oh man. And with her being a big fat humongous bitch, you know she didn't get that far off the ground. Her feet are just dangling like an inch off it. Oh no, oh, I'm so fat. Huh? Another thing, for some reason fat people always got the best toilet paper in the bathrooms. I'm serious, have you ever taken a shit in a fat person's house? It's awesome. The toilet paper is always so soft, yet strong. And the seats, so comfortable and spacious. Fat people like taking really satisfying shits, man. It's like they're accepting of the fact that their fat asses might one day get even fatter. So they might as well take good shits now before they're too fat to reach their assholes the white properly. And fellas, if you ain't never had yourself a big old fat broad, then I am sorry for you. Fat broads are just normal broads, only bigger. There's so much to enjoy. It's like when you're eating Skittles and you pop a bunch in your mouth at once. That's what it's like. It's so juicy. But fat people, you need to understand you need to stop being so fat. Fat is literally an epidemic in the States. Over a third of all adults here are obese. The fuck, man? Oh, I'm big boned. No, stupid, you have completely normal bones. Oh, I have a glandular problem then. No, your glands are fine, you're just a fatty. You eat too much and you exercise too little. That's your problem. Now, I'm not gonna say some people aren't more genetically inclined to be bigger people because obviously some are, that's not to be disputed. But if you're tipping the scales at three, four, five, six hundred pounds or more, then yeah, it's your fault. If you're unhappy with that, then it's you that needs to change it. Let me put it to you like this. Losing weight for you is as difficult as gaining weight for me. I can eat and eat and eat and still not be a fatty. And I can eat good and lift, bro, and still not be a big, huge, muscular guy either. I know, because I try. And I looked good. I had more of a Bruce Lee body type. I wasn't very big. I was just very healthy looking and defined. Then I was diagnosed with cancer and went through chemo and got thin as a rail, so whatever. My point is, both of my parents were smaller framed people, so that's what I'm always going to be. But I can fill out. And even if both your parents are big people, you can slim down. You just choose not to. You eat whatever you want and you sit on your ass all day, which in all honesty, for the most part, is exactly what I do every day. But I can do that. I'm not going to blow up like the world trade and be a huge fatty. You have to practice moderation or even full-on sacrifice. If you go to McDonald's and you're too big to sit in their booths or in their seats and not have your big, fat, bloated belly spill out onto the table, then you don't eat McDonald's. If you can't sit at the table because the seats are affixed to the ground and you have to sit on the corner in between the tables, then you don't eat McDonald's. You lose! Good day, sir! It's time to back away from the burger. You need to add eating shitty food to the long list of things you're not good at. Along with walking or standing for any amount of time. Alright, prepare yourself because this isn't even a joke. Do you guys remember that promotional thing that Denny's does after the Super Bowl sometimes? They give away free pancakes. Lying to people around the block for free pancakes. I'm more of a waffle guy, but pancakes are delicious. I totally get it. What I didn't get was the big fat broad sitting in line. That's right, this broad had a folding chair she would pick up and place every time the line moved. If you are too fat to stand in line for free food, then you don't need the free food. And I know there's a bunch of fatties out there all hurting their feelings and shit like, MK, oh, you don't understand, how can you be like that? This, that, and the other. And to that I say, suck my kneecaps and quit being a pussy. Oh, MK, why are you telling people to suck your kneecaps, bro? What the fuck? Well, because my kneecaps are especially ashy right now, so it would be an uncomfortable experience for them while a moisturizing experience for me. Also, me being a mean guy isn't new. I've been a mean guy from the jump. I would really appreciate it if you'd stop acting brand new right now. I am Mr. Mean Guy. That's me. That's just who I am. If you are too fat to function as a human person, you are fucking up. If you are too fat to run, not run fast, if you are too fat to more than walk for any amount of time, then you are fucking up. If there were ever an emergency situation, we are counting you out immediately. People are gonna ask, oh, did insert your name here, make it out? And we're gonna say, no, they were too fat. I know that every time a fat person watches a zombie movie, in the back of their minds they're thinking, wow, if this ever really happened, I'm a goner. And you know what? 
You're all right. If the zombie apocalypse ever goes down, every fat person on the planet is done for. You guys are dead. Have you ever seen a zombie movie? If you are dumb fat, I am leaving you behind. Sorry. Because you don't belong in this world anymore. The zombie apocalypse is not for you. I'm sorry. Look, obesity is a real problem. You need to be in some kind of shape. Now, in saying that, I don't mean you can't be fat. You didn't hear me in the beginning? Fat people are totally cool. There's nothing wrong with being fat. The truth of the matter is, some fat people are healthier than some thin people. If a fat person involves himself in some level of regular physical activity, they can absolutely be healthier than a thin person that just sits on their ass all day every day. A fat person can be healthier than a thin person. So before you skinny cunts out there go popping off in the mouth with some slim shit, Think about it. It's just when you're fat to the point you can't move your body in a normal or fluid fashion, then yeah, you're fucking up. Stop eating. Just practice sacrifice. Everyone wants to talk about patience being a virtue. You know sacrifice is a virtue. I don't know what that means anything to anyone, but yeah, it is. As a matter of fact, if I can digress for just a second, because you guys like me sharing cool stuff with you, for the seven sins, there is a contrast of seven virtues. Seven sins, seven virtues. That's a thing. Look it up. Anyway, back to fat people. Now I know Mount Dew is good in hell, but have you ever actually looked at the nutrition label? Look at it. A 12 ounce bottle of most pops out there have enough sugar in them to make two candy bars. You are drinking two candy bars every time you go through a 12 ounce bottle of pop. And I'm willing to bet a lot of you out there drink more than 12 ounces at a time. I know a lot of you out there are drinking big gulps. You have to think about what you're putting into your body. And real quick, I'm not saying give up all the good stuff because if I want to, I will eat a Twinkie. And a Twinkie is made out of stuff you really don't want to put in your body, ever. Just eat less of this terrible stuff than you currently do. Moderation is the name of the game. Actually, for most people, pure calorie counting is the name of the game. You could eat complete shit and still lose weight, as Mark Hobb of Kansas State University proved as he sustained himself on a junk food diet for 10 weeks and lost 27 pounds. I know the words that I just said probably sounded like an angelic choir to a lot of you fatties out there. He lost weight eating nothing but Twinkies and Doritos and other shit you can find at a gas station. Now is that healthy? No, but he was technically able to lose weight. So, fatties, eat less. Also, just as a rule, stop eating so much sugar. Excessive amounts of sugar is bad for you, period. And there is so much sugar in everything. It's in everything. It's so much that recently there were talks of placing an added sugar margin next to the nutrition label on all food products. They put sugar in everything. Folks, it's some borderline conspiracy theory stuff. They put sugar in everything. They put the shit in Dr. Scholl's foot inserts hoping you're gonna soak the shit up through your feet. It's in everything. Look, fatties, I gotta go and be thin somewhere. But before I do, I'm sure you notice I'm wearing a Luna Eye t-shirt. Now these are the guys that are going to be backing me soon with my own online store. They already back guys like uh, Jeff Turner and Locksmith. These are the guys that are also going to be filming with me out in California come March on my Straight From The Underground event. Check the description for all the cool stuff I mentioned in this video and to check out these guys. Go and like their page on Facebook. We'd appreciate it if you did. Okay. You guys take care. Oh. Boom. Oh. Okay, you want me to read off this paper? Yeah, man, just read off the paper. We're going to record you and put this on the video. I got to read all of it? Yeah, yes, dude. It's like a few sentences. Just just read off the paper. <sighs> When's the last time? Nigga, you just got here. And when you got here, you were eating a family-sized bag of potato chips and a stick of butter. That wasn't enough? <sighs> no, man, I'm hungry again. Will you just read off the paper, you big, fat, dumb bitch? You lucky I don't snatch some bacon off the back of your neck. That hurt, MK. That cut me deep. Not as deep as the waistline of your pants is cutting into your belly. That's fucked up, MK.